hydrogen is found where you live, though it's usually in a compound 'cause it's highly reactive. This element's irrelevant when giving things a sniff, 'cause it's got no odor. Come on, I'll show ya. No wait, I can't do that 'cause it's a colorless gas and more transparent than glass. See through. One valence electron, one's also the atomic mass. It's unstable and I'm scared 'cause it is lighter than air. It's true. Which makes it good for hot air balloons. Highly reactive and combustible, making compounds like water and fuel. But all these helpful unit properties have catastrophic capabilities. Take caution when dealing with chemical symbol H. Naturally, H is almost never found on Earth, though it's the most abundant element in the universe. It's so light, it takes flight and leaves Earth's atmosphere. So for more H, we'll need chemical reactions up in here. Most hydrogen synthetic on Earth, and you can bet it takes much harmful pollution to make. So yes, H can fuel rockets, but you'll do a double take when you see H and air make fire and flames. See, once called inflammable air many years ago, doesn't air it could ignite right there? Fire, and then in 1766, Henry Cavendish recognized it as an element. Then, 17 years later, Antoine. Lab was a nameless thing. Hydrogen, hydro water genes generating, but it does much more than that. It can be a fuel for no pollution. Oh, this could be a solution. But liquid hydrogen is so cold it'll freeze you and leave you frostbitten, and you're still brittle. A living agent, and also an asphyxiant, the most basic of all elements. Its isotopes and nuclear weapons. Oh, there are no neutrons at all. I can't be neutral either. I must stand tall. I said hydrogen is wonderful. But also dangerous. Don't end up like the Hindenburg. Be careful with hydrogen. We need it to live, but it can also kill us.